Hello Libra, welcome back to Path of Enlightenment Tarot. For those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I am Nicole. Libra, this is going to be your mid-February 2024 reading. This will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Cross watcher, if that is you, welcome to the channel as well. Always discern the messages accordingly, right? Like don't force things to fit. Uh, quick thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, subscribed, commented, even if you're just viewing the video, but liking and subscribing are one of the greatest ways to support the channel. So I appreciate each and every single one of you for that. And for the donations as well, I appreciate, again, your love and support. It's amazing. Uh, Libra, personal reads are open and available. That information can be found in the description box below, as well as the about section of the page. Uh, we are just going to jump right in, Libra, see what's coming up for you. Um, first word spirit's giving me, I feel like you've come into a space of a conundrum here. And, you know, I've said it before, and I'm probably going to beat the dead horse left, right, and sideways for some time with you guys with this north and south node. I just feel like that energy for you is so potent to where you are going, where you are heading, the changes that are going to take place in your life. Um when you are willing to be flexible and in flow with the universe, right? It's like, you know, we watch Taurus and Scorpio have to clear up a lot of things um, during their period in the North and South node. And then seeing this now for Aries and Libra, I'm seeing this in Aries videos as well in their energy. So um, Libra, I think you sitting down in that South node is really having a, a much bigger impact because it is, um, it's karmic, it, it's destined, it's fated events that, um, where you're supposed to be moved to, you're going to go regardless. So, um, and it's a lot of interpersonal healing. I got the chills. The spirit is saying it's interpersonal healing uh, to the depths, unlike any other that has ever been before for you. So, you're just your it's your turn under the sun there. Okay. So, all right, Libra. Let's see what's happening for you mid February 2024, and uh, go from there. All right, Libra. Let's see. Caution and illusion make sure libra that you are not living in a fantasy world and forgetting what it is within you that is it's almost like a sense of denial as to how you're feeling about particular things or situations or going yeah and i just seen this come out in your i think it was your weekend read uh yeah i'm fine are you fine and i'm going to tell you some of the alliances that you've made spirit is saying in the last three years you're likely to start to see those things fall apart. Uh, questioning your, these people could be questioning you. And I, again, I think I, I just seen this. If I remember, I have to go back and really listen to it again. Um, questioning you about something, peppering you, demanding answers from you. Um, yeah, Libra, that was, as I'm saying this, as it's coming out intuitively, um, spirit is going, yes, this is what this is what we talked about over the weekend. Um, but th there's something about a particular situation in your life, Libra, that either for the out, from the outside perspective, something isn't making sense or for you, something isn't making sense, but it's almost like an investigative feel that I get. Now, this could be authorities. This could be your mom, your dad. This could be your kids. This could be anything. Right, but there's a lot of questions that surround a particular search or situation, situation that is requiring balance, and that is why this energy is coming in, like the need to know more. Whether it's you needing to know more, somebody else needing to know more, but this need to know more so that things can be cleared up. Um, there's a particular approach. I can see a pen and a piece of paper. There are notes that are being taken. There's an awareness that is being written down. There's studies is what I'm also hearing, studies of why these kind of things happen. Um, there's there's a, a very deep dig into a particular situation in your life. For some of you, this could have to do with finances. I don't feel like this is so much... Um, here, the finances are a part of it. I'm going to say that. there's The finances are a part of a situation but they're not the totality of a situation, okay? That could be an underlying motive to a particular area that they're trying to get clarification on, 444, or you're trying to get clarification on. This is going to affect your foundations. Some of you in the long run after a particular situation could be moving. There's a lot of 
energy that surrounds this movement. I remember seeing that too in your weekend reading. Um, it's coming, Libra. It may not be happening now, but it's almost like there are consequences for the actions of particular situations. And here's the thing, outside of you extending you, okay, the people that may have been involved in particular situations, there are going to be consequences for them as well. Good or bad, there are still consequences of actions. Those who have walked the path, done what they should have done, there, I hate to, I, I, for lack of a better word, reward. Like they, I, they don't have anything to worry about. They could be um, awarded something for their perseverance, their dedication for clearing matters up, right? Some kind of accolade for that. For those that are not on that side of it, um, that have not done the things that they should have done, whether it's morally, ethically, legally, um, you know, just being on a correct path, we'll call it, there will be consequences for those actions too. There's gonna be light that is shed on a particular situation and or aspect. So, you know, we're gonna see how this plays out in this reading, but right now, I mean, that's the long-term projection there. Right now though, it's getting down to the nitty gritty dirt of the matters, um, finding out whose hands were dirty in a situation and whose were not. Um, very, very interesting. Uh, and I'm gonna say to you, some of you, this, whatever it is that's making you feel uneasy, the it, spirit is saying pause and a cause for concern. Okay, so um, Spirit is also telling you to be careful with your finances. Do not make big purchases right now. If you're thinking about buying a house, a car, um, anything that is, is, a, is a larger purchase. They're even talking about jewelry. I don't know. So maybe somebody like they're talking about like a watch or something. I don't know what that's about. Um, you're really going to want to be careful with your finances right now. Um, don't make irrational, impulsive decisions. So... All right, Libra, let's actually, you know, that was the intuitive from Spirit, and thank you, Spirit, for that. Um, but here, let's dig into the cards and see. <sighs> Clarity and good luck coming out sideways, communication. Again, there, there's a need around some information that says, this is like reiterating everything I just said, crystal ball right? It's, it's the clarity, it's to be able to see the things for what they truly are. Um, it's, I'm looking and I, I did, um, it was Aries reading earlier. They had power. I think it was power, like thunder and lightning. And there was lightning bolts. You've got the same thing popping up at that crystal ball right there. This isn't though about power. This is, it's illuminating a, a, a truth. It's illuminating, um, what is coming out. And I'm going to say to you too, again, reiteration here everything that came through you see that crystal ball there and you see the ripple effect you see its aura right you see what's on the outside but i said to you those external situations of who or what may be involved in something they're going to feel the force of this as well so whatever this is your luck this this black cat good luck coming out sideways you've made your luck these people have made their luck so where it goes good or bad, is going to be indicative by what the intention that was set in a particular situation, whether this turns out one way or another. Libra, for all of you, it, it's like, it's going to vary. It's really going to vary based upon where you've been, what you've dealt with, um, the situations you've been in with other people. I told you, it's can't make it up I swear to goodness illuminating illumination the truth that's like uh what card is it there's another deck that i have here and it's got oh the oracle of the house the wisdom of the house of night oracle i think it is it says honesty it's got that candle and they're sh showing that to me as well it illuminates the dark right the stuff that's done in the dark comes to light i've said it over and over and over and over again the red is it anger or is it passion what was the motive behind a particular truth that is that is now coming to light through this communication? Somebody digging in, diving, researching, collecting information, knowledge. The Spirit is calling these glasses the looking glass. 
it is being magnified. It is being brought to light. You know, you use a magnifying glass, the things that you can't see, you bring it into clarity so that you can see it for exactly what it is. It's no longer muddled. Make sure that your communication is honest. Even if you've done something in the past that may be a little questionable, right? It's time to clear this up and be honest. Because if not, like it's it's setting the it's setting the wheel uh, in motion for what is to come. Okay, it, very important important message in that is that the truth, the honesty, the clarity, the foresight, and going. Even if I've made a mistake, it's time to own up and be accountable for that mistake. I've learned a lesson. You know, it's like you could have been dealing with somebody, Libra. And again, maybe this is you, right? You put it, if the shoe fits, you wear it, plain and simple. Where you could have been dealing with somebody who was dictating circumstances or tried to dictate circumstances around a particular situation. And, um, you know, why? Why were they dictating that? What was the motive behind the power and the control, 11, 11 on the clock, um, that they were trying to create this narrative or create this this facade or whatever this was right and I keep seeing on this card even from a distance even though I can't see that far away I keep seeing book a book listen or a book listing the words of a language with translation with another language a book listing words or other linguistic items in a particular category or subject with information about them um, a medical dictionary spirit just said too somebody could be being diagnosed with a disorder. That maybe this behavior, this unpredictability, spirit is saying, is indicative of a disorder in regards to the medical. It's like they're checking references. That there's something very, very powerful here, Libra, that is taking place and it is going to clear up a lot of stuff and then it's like, it's the shakeout, right? Like it's like taking a tree branch. I don't know. Like I don't even know why this is coming up, but if you have a tree branch that fell down and it's got a bunch of apples on it, right? Like, and you shake it and see what comes loose. Like the shit that's loose, the shit that's not, you know, attached to that. It, it's shaking everything loose. It is. It is that lightning bolt. I keep seeing in this particular deck. There's a, a card. There it is. Shock. I keep seeing that. It, it's shaking things up. It's, it's the inevitable, sudden change, shocking news, surprise and epiphany, transformation. This shakeup is moving you one way or another, whatever that means to you. And it's, it's very important. And I said about the, motiv the motivations or the intentions, that card's sitting on the bottom and the intentions of a particular situation, like if it's not been on the clear side of things, this is going to shake out to force change. This, this is a tower moment. And I think that this is going to play out between now and April. Again, that information is coming in right now to gain clarity around it. Um, anything built on false foundations, I just seen fragility. Um, anything that's been based on falsified bullshit and lies, Spirit is saying, it's coming to the surface. This is going to take some time to work itself out, Libra. And you're going to kind of have to buckle up. Um, because the ride is just starting. You know, Sag is reading was a ticket to, I think it was Sag, was a ticket to ride or something like that. I, that word keeps coming up. This, this is, we are starting on a new path right now. This Pluto and Aquarius, everything going direct, uh, Aquarius floating around with so many of the different, of the planets. This is a renewal. And part of that renewal, sometimes we have these tragic, hard abrupt endings to things that we don't want to deal with but I'm going to say what I've noticed with this change that we're feeling um collectively is that spirit is being a little more gentle and graceful about it but then when the the time is the time comes that we have to rectify situations it can feel pretty freaking heavy so just be aware of that energy. And again, 40 breaks down to a four. There's that foundational energy. 1440 was just on the clock. As I say that underneath guidance, 44. Scorpio, Scorpio keeps popping up in the underlying. And we've got Pluto and Aquarius, right? Pluto is Scorpio also. 
Um, here's the thing, and I said about the destiny. This is destiny. This is fated. This is karmic. There's the destiny. Protection. Power. Someone trying to protect and, and, and their power in a posi position. It's someone trying to hold on to a position of power. Ten. It is the end. Five. Change. Fourteen could be a very important number. Fours are very important for you, Libra. The Scorpio retribution. This is the wrongs being made right this is what is <clears throat> balanced and fair happening there could be a lot of anger uh this could this guidance could be a therapist this could be um, a counselor this could be someone of a higher position of authority as well needing to reach out and understand that whatever burst is happening right now whatever explosion is happening do not be afraid to reach out to ask for help or ask for assistance 8-8, eight, eight, by the way, okay? So those are those karmic cycles, those things coming in. It's like, I think there are moments of this situation where you're getting angry and then you feel a little bit of peace. And I'm going to say to you, when, you finding, when you're finding those moments of peace that come in, a lot of red and white energy, when you're finding those moments of peace, what is it that you're letting go of or what is it that you're, like, I don't want to say succumbing to, but surrendering to? What is it in that moment that you just let go of and just gone, I'm not even going to worry about it. And it makes you feel lighter because that's, that's going to be an indicative thing, an indicative awareness or guidance from your, your higher self that says either this is this situation and I do it this way is going to settle my emotions or this other side of this, when I'm thinking about worrying over analyzing is ramping up my emotions and my emotions are turning to aggression or passion in a wrong way or passion in a way that may be codependent, toxic, and unhealthy. So there's there's a lot of needing to understand the emotional tide as whatever comes to light is happening here. Okay, so just be very, very aware of that. Pay attention to, again, the alliances over the last three to four years. Were they built on a toxic bond? Were they built on a trauma bond? Were they built on hating somebody? Like, you know, go back. If, if you've met new people and, you know, which we all do. We're constantly meeting new people. Um, those that have gotten close to you in that three-year-ish period, what brought you together with this person? Like, do you sit and talk? gossip and trash on other people do you talk about uh you know the news do you talk about good family things do you, you know what dialogue is happening that brings the two of you together that's that's going to be very important libra as you move forward because you'll want this to be um healthy dynamics as you move forward I also feel like there are moments in this patience card that it's kind of like you just want to be left alone. There, there's a bit of a loneliness and like kind of sitting with your sorrows or the agony of the past. And, and you know, I can't help but see these flowers as like planting flowers on somebody's grave. I don't know why, but I, you know, you could say somebody's, but understand that any ending creates a death in some way. It doesn't matter if it's a physical death, a metaphorical death, uh, the ending of a cycle or a change. Um, those flowers give grace and gratitude. Remembrance for the good things, not the bad things. And Spirit is asking you to pay attention to that, okay? So, let's see. Past energy for Libra, please, Spirit. Four of Wands. Another four. So 44, 44. Five of Swords in the reverse. I think for a, a time frame here, Libra, um, you felt like you were on top of your game. You had it figured out. Things were fun. Things were lax. Things were, um, <clears throat> you know, they were what they were. 
in the moment. There was cause for celebration. There could have been a marriage. There could have been lots of things. But there was still this Five of Swords. I don't care how you spin the Five of Swords. You know, I read cards sideways, upright, upside down. I typically just take them in the upright, though. Um, no matter what, there has been this knowing in the back of the mind or even on a soul level that something was not okay about the situation. Something was still, even if it was a minuscule, something was off. And it was like, well, we're going to move on and pretend that everything is happy and we're we're feeling good and we're fiery. And I've seen this before for you, or Libra. You could have been dealing with a Taurus. Maybe you are dealing with a Taurus. The star energy, Aquarius energy. This situation has got to be here. This isn't about wish fulfillment. This isn't about stardom. This isn't about all things beautiful. Like I'm seeing the star as <clears throat> creating an ending so that healing can begin. It's given me reverse vibes, okay? But no matter what, like there was something, despite the celebrations, despite the good things that you were caught up in, there was something about this that said, something isn't right and that four of wands leading to the five of pentacles now that the celebration is over now that the good times have maybe kind of closed out or they're not you know maybe it was a honeymoon phase right uh with a marriage or something now you realize what has actually been lost what had to be sacrificed as a result and it's something that you got yourself into that five of pentacles she's got the key sitting there but again you see this i said about the sorrows sitting with the sorrow sorrows you same energy right there bent over in, in trying to figure out what this means why this feels the way it does why do i feel like i don't have anything left after this you know and and, and that's the thing is, is she's put herself there and i said about that healing with the star it's about healing there's the temperance angel right there he is he's got to alchemize between the light and the dark he's got to heal he's got to balance He's got to trust his guidance, he's gotten his intuition on this. And maybe that's the one thing. It was like, well, I can't, I can't lose. No matter what this is, I'm not gonna be able to lose because I'm on top of a situation. What it led to here, another card of healing, Libra. You can't, you may have been working on what you thought was foundations. You may have been working on what you thought was going to be a whole new beginning when it comes to the pentacles somehow, the investments that you were making. The whole time, it's it, it's a weird energy, but I think it's a very <clears throat> it's very auspicious for the fact of how spirit works. That while you think that you're working on your pentacle or your relationships, the work that you've been putting into those things create tower moments that are catalysts for your personal healing. You know, we say there's a reason and a season, right? We, you know, think about it from the human level. The, the regular 3D mind says, I get into a marriage, right, as an example, because I plan on spending the rest of my life with this person. What we don't see is in 15 years into that marriage that all of a sudden that person changes, they've evolved or they've stepped backwards, right? Whatever this might be for them. Then your life as a result is changing in a way that you never projected it would. Now you're, you know, you're heading for a divorce as a result of this. We don't get married to get divorced, but it happens. It happens more often than not, right? It's the higher end of the scale there. Um, this situation that was setting you up that you thought was going to be happy and forever and Maybe it was a job. Maybe it was your kids. Maybe it was your spouse. Maybe this was your mother. Who, who the hell knows? It was like spirit set you up to self-sabotage, to see if you would self-sabotage. And if you did, it was going to be the catalyst for your change. That's what you're walking into, Ten of Swords. Spirit is telling you, you need to pick yourself back up. You need to forge on. You need to move forward. What I do like about this deck and what I like about this particular Ten of Swords is she is not face down with the swords in her back pinned to the ground anymore. She is up. She is trying to make a move. She is trying to move forward. She's trying to move on. 
she's looking out to the sunset and going, what comes next for me after this five of swords and this ten of swords? That I'm not going to self-sabotage anymore because this, this shit hurt and it hurt bad. Okay? <clears throat> so it's you finding the perseverance within yourself to keep moving forward. There's a, a great need to do that because you don't want to step backwards anymore. And Spirit is reiterating too, this could be somebody that you're dealing with. Um, future energy, page of swords, reading, researching, writing, learning, communication, truths coming into play, white ball moments, those epiphanies, those ahas, wait a second, I'm gaining knowledge, now I see clearly now, in Libra, there you are, the justice card. Popping up in your own reading, how wonderful. King of Pentacles, listen, I'm going to tell you right now, I know I've seen a lot of maternal energy coming in for you. But this has to do with your masculine side. There is healing. I, I'm going to say this and please know that it does not have to be this way. You put it where it fits. But if you had issues with a maternal figure in your life, okay, they may have not taught you about the masculine side or you had to jump into the masculine side because there's been an absent masculine figure, father, grandfather. It doesn't have to be masculine. It could be a female, right? In your life, and this may pertain to a Gemini in some, in some capacity, where they're forcing you, you're being forced to step into this masculine energy on your own. And maybe you didn't have somebody to guide the way. Maybe you didn't have a good role model or an example, right, in your family dynamic. But they're telling you that now you have to buck up. You have to create those foundations Maybe from something, again, you've never had an example from, but it's there. You're going to have to learn how to love, and you're going to have to learn how to be fierce. And you're going to have to alchemize the two. It cannot be one way or the other. It's got to be a mix of both. Right? It's alchemy at its finest. The lovers is divine feminine, divine masculine energy. You take a look at that lion and the lamb. They are two opposite sides of the spectrum. You needing to learn how to master that side. And now it's dealing with the masculine energy. But you can't come in at it with anger. You can't come at it from the fact that, you know, it's like I've been hurt, I've been pushed around, I've been whatever it is, and, and come at it with aggression. The aggression has to turn to a transmutation of healing energy to keep you steady, stable, and secure. I also am hearing from spirit that you thought that somebody was supposed to leave you something. Somebody could have left you something. I want to say to you, did you blow through it? It's like, it was all that work for nothing. I don't know what that means to you, but that's what I'm hearing from spirit, okay? This is also recognizing that there was somebody around you at some point um, that you could have seen them, or maybe they've seen you this way, Libra, right? Flip it. They tried... Somebody here tried to be loyal to the other. They were honest in maybe a way that either you or them were not familiar with. That threw you off or threw them off, one or the other, right? So, four of wands, ten of cups in the reverse. My cards always go back in the deck upright. There you go. Um, four of wands, I told you, there was still something with this four of wands. It says, yes, we're happy. Yes, we're celebrating. Yes, this is great. Yes, this is a marriage. Yes, this is carefree. Yes, this is fun. On the emotional level, something was off with that five of swords in the reverse, and you've got the ten of cups coming out in reverse. Something here was off. Maybe the facade was rainbows, butterflies, happy family, picture perfect, put a Kodak moment up on the wall. But in reality, something underneath the surface was not healthy it wasn't it wasn't put together it wasn't it wasn't on emotional terms it was what do i need to do now it was tactical it was action oriented five of swords and i'm telling you temperance you could be dealing with a sag doesn't have to be take a look at sag season as well um this is bringing in the balance because you knew it was off whatever this was was off and it was causing underlying anxiety with that patience card Temperance twice there, basically. You've got the hermit that I talked about. Did you make a move for a wrong reason? And is it going to lead to you having to make a physical move again? Is what Spirit is saying. Very, very interesting energy. Five of Pentacles. 
the hangman, it's a new perspective. You're going to have to see things differently and you're going to have to see it from a space of love. This isn't about the pentacles. The pentacles come and go, right? If we're going to look at money, and I, I don't know if it was you guys or another sign, I can't remember, but I think it was Sag actually now that I say this, back in like mid-November. There's a difference between the love of pentacles, you can't buy love, right? Then there is the love itself. And love obviously doesn't buy the things that we need. We have to be able to alchemize those two things. This perspective is the, the, the coins, the money, the investments, they're letting you down. Now you're seeing that there's something about the situation when it comes to that, it, it, it comes up short, it falls short, it doesn't have enough to give you. And now it's like that, maybe that's all you've got left are those five pentacles. Maybe you spent 10, you know, five of those 10 pentacles that were lifetime legacy building up to things. And now it's like, this is all I've got. And now that this is all that I got, I've got it and I'm on my own. You're missing the heart of the matter, Spirit is saying. This perspective is going, now I get it. This hangman goes, my fours, my foundations have been upside down for a really long time. Somebody, again, I'm going to tell you because I've seen that uh, swords, the page of swords, somebody could have taught you that that's what it was all about. This could be this masculine figure. Maybe they weren't there to teach you what it was about. Maybe a maternal figure taught you what it was supposed to be about because they had to learn how to survive. So now you're living in their survival mode based upon their perception and their reality of what they've dealt with. But what about your real reality, Libra? What about your reality? Because somebody else has made their reality your reality. And now you're stuck in between these two trying to go, where do I belong in this mess? And I think that this clarity too, and they're pointing me back to that in the beginning, is that whatever transpired as a result of this energy that we're in right now, there's a consequence and you could be paying the consequences for somebody else's actions. You talk about ancestral healing, right? So take a look at your family lineage, go back. Like how many times have you seen a cycle repeat over and over and over again from what you know, right? What you've seen with your own two eyes as well. The consequence, the karma, the awareness, what is being illuminated with the sun and the ten of swords? What have you been missing all these years? Because it's, it's like you're paying the price for somebody else. But, and I'm going to say though, that accountability is you might be paying that price for somebody else. Because you were taught that way, but now going back to that Gemini, the, that, that uh, lover's card, the choice. What choices did you make when you were able to make the correct choices for yourself? Or were you sitting in a tradition to belief system based upon this is what my family said I was supposed to do. This is the way that we operate. This is the only way forward. And it became such a dedication to you that it was like the guidance that was coming in when that one person showed up to be loyal at one point, you didn't understand it. Or they didn't understand it if you're the one that's going to them, right? But it's being illuminated. The, the pain, the why, and how you got there is being illuminated right now. Page of Swords, the Fool, you're going to have to start again. And you are starting again. The star this time, again, healing, alchemizing the two, right? You, you're there. Moving in the future, Libra, that's where you are. My, my, my situation with this is it's going to go back. Spirit is saying, one, do not return to what broke you. Do not return to the very thing that put you in a place where you took on their role, you became responsible for them, and now you're taking the consequences and having to be accountable for what other people have done for years that they taught you. So do not return home to that, because that's not home. As I say that, there comes the world, the card, three of swords. You're really having to look at your foundations as this truth is coming out um, in an external environment for you as well. There's a truth that's coming out on the internal world for you as well. 
it is both sides of a situation and you're realizing that the internal value that was held based upon somebody else's belief system that was incorporated into you is the very thing that has caused external disruptions in your world. This is completing a cycle. This is you have learned the lessons and now you start to heal. It's going to be a painful lesson to heal this cycle because I feel like this cycle has run so deep and has run you amok for so long and you didn't see it. It's not, it's not the end of the world that this has happened, but it's going to start to balance out and create harmony in your world for you. And if you can hear them, I apologize. <laughs> Everybody's playing Roblox today, I guess. I don't know. Um, Justice, Six of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, to me and the star. Uh, Libra, I don't think that you can see, give me one second, hold on. Okay, I'm so sorry, we did. they were getting louder and louder and louder. Um, the Six of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Reverse and the Star. I feel like you feel like it's the end of the world because you feel like you're at the bottom and now you have to rebuild. It's not the end of the world, Libra. It's the beginning of a new cycle for you. It's the beginning of your healing. And I'm going to tell you firsthand, when you have to start diving into that healing, it is exhausting. It wears you down. It wears you out. You just want peace. You just want something calm. You want something that is not going to ruffle your feathers. You just want time to yourself. You want to breathe. You want to understand when you don't know where you're supposed to be going. And for you, it feels like the Wheel of Fortune is like the worst case scenario that's popping out. And like I said earlier, that lead up to the consequences, right, of the decisions that you have made or you're dealing with somebody who has made them and even the others around you. It could feel like these structures are falling down and it's like, how do I pull myself back up? And this is the worst case scenario. This worst case is going to bring you this independent healing that you don't ever want to let go of again. You don't see it yet, but it is coming in and it's going to stabilize your life and for the right reasons. There's not going to be a falsified connection to what people want you to believe or your trauma bonding with somebody else or it's like everybody's out to get somebody or whatever this is. Like This is meant to... Put you on a path to healing but it's going to also be what it is you make of it okay so be very mindful of that energy and do not geez do not push away the shadow side of yourself address that mask i said facade right there it is again and too many cards though but i'm gonna reshuffle these advice for libra mid-february but there's a lot of a lot of deep digging um i will say too there could be a separation uh i talked to you know Spirit took me back to this justice card as a legal connotation that um, a mother and child could be moving on from a particular situation. There's an end. The time of a particular situation is coming to a close here. Reminiscing, making memories, learning from the past and perception. Uh, I, funny, I said, you know, Kodak moment on the wall kind of thing going, oh gee, when I thought times were good. Sword and Rose, clarity and truth, revelations, honor and protection, determination. Libra, you may see it as a loss, but if that's the way you're going to perceive it to be, if that's where you're at, and that's fine. Know when to cut your losses. Because if you already dug yourself into a situation or someone else or whatever you're dealing with, you keep digging, you're eventually going to hit like I don't know, power line or water line. Like you're going to keep digging up things that you don't want to have to dig up. Um, or shouldn't even be dug up to begin with, but Spirit's giving you the gift of free will to decide what you're going to do with that. Um, make sure your determination is to better yourself, to heal yourself, rather than, or to even, Spirit just said, heal the connections that you need to heal, rather than fighting for something that's not for you. Butterfly tried to come out, evolving growth, new phase, healing the inner child, releasing the past. Don't fight this release. Don't. I know it's extremely uncomfortable. Um, I said about the traditions, the belief systems. Old school comes out. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. It is time. If you need to go, I'm going to say this. If you need to go back to understand how things got to a particular point, by all means, go back and look at it. 
because sometimes we do need to sit down and reflect upon how we got to where we are and why we're there. Um, and if we could go back, you know, I always tell people, don't have regrets. Don't have regrets because wherever you've been, no matter how good or bad it may have been, have been it's taught you something. It's bringing you to the, to the moment where you do have these epiphanies and these ahas. This isn't a beat up on Libra. This isn't kick Libra's ass. This isn't Libra is a horrible person. This is Libra is learning lessons. And don't, don't put yourself down for learning those lessons the hard way. Sometimes the, the school of hard knocks is the best school that you could ever go to. Beats the hell out of the public school system. Beats the hell out of somebody telling you what it's going to be like because you learn firsthand what it means. But right now you're being asked to change your mindset. All right. This is a rebuild. This is a rebuild. And I'm going to tell you that if there could be a particular feminine energy that has been by your side, and that could be that three-year period I talked about, um, when they feel like there's nothing left to be had, they could be the ones leaving you in that five of pentacles. You're washed up now. Think about it, okay? Any other advice for me, please, Spirit? Here's the thing, in dealing with a particular person, Libra, even if you didn't show it, I think what makes this so difficult is there is something in the middle of all of this that you genuinely have love for. You may not have, maybe your love language was different, we'll call it, um, but you genuinely had love for something. And that's what makes this so hard. Cutting down, cutting out separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. Self-indulgence, self-worth and value. Time to heal, shadow work and self-appreciation. Coming out with the coffin, new beginnings, liberation, reborn and transformation or transition and tragic endings. This is to teach you something. It's not about your work ethic, Libra, Spirit is saying, it's about what lives within. It's not just fun and games. It's not just about the pentacle. It's about the deep-seated emotion that lives within you and what needs to be healed. You did. You had love for something. And I, I think that there's going to be a couple more disappointments around a situation um, before you're on a more linear and not that healing is linear because it's not. Um, but where it makes more sense, where you feel like you can pick a direction and go. But this is also teaching you to be selfless. That sometimes we have to make sacrifices that we didn't want to have to make, and it might include letting somebody go. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I hope this reading helps you. Um... But I think that whatever this investigative process is, whether this is your on an, an internal level, which I think it's both, um, it's showing you something new, Libra. And I don't don't beat yourself up. Don't. This is the school of hard knocks. You're getting your degree in it, is what I can say to that. All right, guys. Like, share, subscribe, comment it, or comment it comment. Uh, personal reads are open and available. If I can be an assistance to each of you in any way, please feel free to reach out. I'm sending you all my love. Take care of yourselves and I will see you soon.